On Maruti Suzuki Presents ESPN Quick Info T20 Timeout, it is time for Bangladesh to make their first appearance in this year's ICC Men's T20 World Cup. We're going to look ahead to the game between Bangladesh and Netherlands with Niall O'Brien. Before that, Anil Kumble in studio. Conversation has not been a lot around Bangladesh, Anil. Normally, when there's a World Cup in these parts of the world, we think, oh, is Bangladesh going to be a real threat? In Australia, and for good reason, with their record away from home, they aren't really talked up. About time, they do something about that? I think in the recent past, Bangladesh cricket has sort of uh, not lived up to the level that you expect mm. Bangladesh to be in, even in the Asia Cup and even in bilateral tournaments. So, yes, you would want Bangladesh to come to the party. Uh, and this is the right opportunity for them because they're playing Netherlands first up. They're not playing one of the bigger nations, mm. India, Pakistan or South Africa in their group. Uh, so, it's a, it's a nice way to ease into the World Cup. They have an opportunity to beat uh, Netherlands uh, and then uh, you know get into the World Cup. Yes, uh, Bangladesh have disappointed themselves, so we hope that uh, you know they'll come to the party. Yeah, I mean a win percentage of just over 25 when they go away from home in T20Is, so that's something they need to figure out. Anil Kumble says you'd rather play the Netherlands first up. I wonder if the other way of looking at that, Niall, is well, is this the game to slip up first up? You're maybe a little rusty. You've not played a full game in a while. And the Netherlands have been hardened with a couple of games. Uh, could this be the best time, perhaps, for the Netherlands to play Bangladesh? Yeah, I think you're, I think you're spot on. The Netherlands have played some cricket. They've been in Australia for a good while. Uh, Bangladesh spent time in New Zealand, but the preparation in Australia has been weather curtailed. So I, I'm a little bit on the other. The shoe is on the, on the other foot for me. I reckon this is a great opportunity for Netherlands. Um, They've played some good cricket. They've been as a group for about four weeks now in Australia. They're playing decent cricket. Um, I think they could turn Bangladesh over. I really do. I, I'm not. Mm. I spent a lot of time in Bangladesh in the last four or five years watching the BPL. Um, and we're just looking for the power. Where is the power in this Bangladesh lineup? I just don't see a whole lot of power with bat in hand. We know with ball in hand, they'll be wily, they'll be good with the ball. And obviously, uh, Shaki was you know as good as anyone in the world. But I think this is a great opportunity for Netherlands to once again uh, write a little bit of history in the T20 World Cup. They've done it before against Ireland and against England, of course, twice against England. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they have a good outing against Bangladesh. Yeah, we have, we've seen that. Then this, you could look at this game in two different ways. Quick word on who needs to step up for the Netherlands. It looks like Max O'Dowd carries the big responsibility, Niall. The other batters need to step up. Surely they need more guns firing if they are to pick up points in the Super 12s? Yeah, they need players to step up. Really. You know, Colin Ackerman is a good cricketer, um, plays for Leicestershire. Tom Cooper has a, a lot of experience playing franchise cricket around the world. They haven't got any runs so far. So Max O'Dowd, yes, he's playing nicely. Max O'Dowd doesn't take the game away from me. He strikes it around that 120. So he goes about his business. The captain, Scott Edwards, is busy. He needs to get busier. You know, he needs... He's sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. He needs to bring something else to the game apart from just the sweep. But for the Netherlands, their real strength is with the ball in hand. So actually, if they attend to bat first, they don't need 160, 170. A 140 score against Bangladesh batting first with a good bowling lineup, knowing that all those millions of people back in Dhaka and Chattagram, etc., Silet, uh, are nervous watching. That's all you need against Bangladesh. If you bat first, you don't need a mammoth score. You need a good score and field well and bowl well. So I think uh, for Netherlands, yes, uh, Cooper must step up. He should be used to these conditions. He's born and bred pretty much in Australia, played all his cricket in Australia, Big Bash and Sheffield Shield. And Colin Ackerman, who had a really poor World Cup last year in the UAE and has struggled this year, um, he needs to step up. Good cricketer. The time is now for the Netherlands batters to support Max O'Dell.